Hi Leo, welcome to Heaven Healing and Tarot. It's Christina. We're going to be getting you some messages today. Before I do that though, I always send out some healing. So take a deep breath with me in through your nose and out through your mouth. Are you ready? Let's do it. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is pull you some angel numbers. So let's see what you got today. We have eight, six, three, seven. Eight, six, three, seven is your number. I'm going to put you on pause so I can write that down. I'll be right back. All right, Leo. Here we go. Let's get the messages. All right, here we go. Here we go. You have Ten of Wands, Eight of Wands, the Hierophant, Seven of Wands. And the death card. All right, Leo, what are you going through here? What is this? You're carrying a heavy burden. You feel like the weight's on your shoulders. And you feel like you're like doing it alone. Like you have to carry this heavy weight all by yourself. I think it's time to put the burdens down. At least it's almost there. Like the tense and ending, right? So you're almost there. You have communication coming in. I don't know what this is, but this is like regular communication with somebody coming in pretty quickly. It's, it's, it's fast moving energy. It could be with this Hierophant energy. This Hierophant is saying that you're looking to get advice from somebody, somebody older, somebody wiser. Um, I think you're turning to somebody for advice because you feel like you have to defend yourself. You're feeling like somebody's trying to take from you. You're feeling like you're, somebody's trying to knock you down. But the death card is here, so that means there is definitely an ending. Something's coming to an end. So hopefully it's that Ten of Wands energy, that feeling of heaviness and, and carrying the burden all by yourself. But something's coming to an end, so let's get some more cards and we'll see if it tells a bigger picture. Why is this ring light like not bright enough? It's going to go out anyway, so <laughs> I know. Shouldn't talk negative. My ring light's going to make it through your entire reading today. <laughs> I probably already sabotaged it. All right, so you have the Seven of Swords, Two of Pentacles, Justice, and the Emperor. All right, so you're fighting with somebody. There's some kind of conflict here. Like I said, you feel like somebody's trying to knock you down. And I feel like you're going to win the little bit. You're going to win this battle, but you're not going to feel good about it. You're still going to be messed up in your head over it. There's a decision that you have to make. There's some choices. I don't know. Maybe it's to let something or someone go. But, you know, balance is going to be restored. Justice comes out, so... You know, things are going to be equal again. Things are going to feel restored. Things are going to get, you're going to get that justice that you're hoping to get. You're, you're hoping to, you know, get rid of that heavy burden, put it down, and the scales are going to be equal again. They're going to be balanced. The Emperor's here, so that means that they want you to step into that alpha male energy, that, you know, step into your power, be that natural born leader, take, take control of this. Let's see what else we get. Oh, the loving woman. All right. So you got, you got eight of wands up here, which could be arrows of love. So maybe love is coming in because you have somebody who's very loving. It could be you, you know, that it could be your energy. The loving woman could be your energy that you're very loving and nurturing. And, you know, you don't, you don't want to take on this burden, but... 
I I don't know. I'm feeling like it's somebody else. I feel it's like somebody else that you could count on. Somebody else coming in that's going to be loving and nurturing towards you. Could be new love. For those of you looking for new love. Release. Okay, so remember I said something's coming to an end. Don't fight it. Whatever's ending, don't fight it. They need you to release it. They need you to let go. Don't hang on to it. It's not meant for you anymore. Whatever it is, whatever this ending is. So if it's like release those burdens, put that burden down. Or, I don't know, release whatever situation that you're fighting for here. You know, you're, you're fighting for something here. It's saying maybe it's better to just walk away. Maybe it's better to cut your losses and just go. You know, we're looking for inner peace here. Yeah, look, an ending is coming. You're going to be reaching your destination. Your light is shining brightly. So uh, maybe this is you with this. Your light is shining brightly. Maybe you are in this very loving energy and you're going to release whatever it is you have to release because you're shining so brightly now. You know, you're going to reach your destination, whatever that is for you. I'm, I'm shuffling the wrong cards. Let me get these ones. <laughs> Hang on. All right. I do that a lot. All right. We have use your time well. Make every moment count. So I think that they don't want you to wallow. I think they don't want you to be stuck in that Ten of Swords energy. I mean, Ten of Wands energy up there. I think they just like, all right, you know, don't feel sorry for yourself. This is happening for a reason. So make every moment count, you know, go towards your happiness. You're, de you're going to be reaching the destination soon. So make the best of it. There's some family heal healing issues, some, some family issues that you might have to heal. You know, it could be with a parent, but it could be with, you know, our soul family and our soul family makes up, um, you know, is made up of a lot of different people. It could be a friendship that you have to heal. It could be a love interest you have to, to you know, heal. But there's, there's some kind of relationship issue that, that needs some attention right now. So whoever you're battling with, I think that you need to forgive somebody or something. It could be you, you need to forgive yourself. You don't have to necessarily have to forgive them, but I don't know. There's some kind of healing you have to do. Look, prosperity lies ahead. So good things are coming in for you. Once you get over this period, this rough patch, whatever this is, the cycle is ending. So you, you, you got a 10 up there and you got the death card. So, so you, and you got reaching your destination. So something is definitely coming to an end and then prosperity is coming in. Once this is ended, once you've healed what needs to be healed. All right. Your last card is a Metatron card. I know, I'm like so crooked. I can't, I don't know. I'm, you know, when I move the camera, I move the camera to do the thumb print shots, whatever the thumbnails, whatever they're called. And uh, I haven't been able to get it right since. Ah, oh, you got sand the font. Oh, sorry. Sorry about the puppy. Someone just came home. But anyway. Um, Sandal Fan's been showing up for a lot of people. And, oh, hang on. I'm just, all right. Sorry about that. So Sandal Fan is just here to tell you that you need to be very loving and gentle with yourself. You're being too hard on yourself. You feel like you're alone carrying this heavy weight. And Sandal Fan is here to tell you that you're not. Your angels, your guides are with you every moment. They're helping you. They're helping guiding you through this. Whatever this hard time is, they're 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 gonna they're here for you. They want you to lean on them, and they want you to be more kind and gentle with yourself. You're being way too hard on yourself. So, let me pull some charms, and then we'll finish this up. Look, 
look, you're looking good. So you're very attractive right now, at least to somebody. You know, you're looking good. The death card is here and you've got the butterfly. So, you know, there is definitely a transformation happening. Something is coming to an end and something new is going to be blossoming. And, you know, you're coming out of your cocoon with something. You know, you have the good life here. So the good life is happening. You, you're going to be living the good life pretty soon. Oh, that fa there's a fairy here. So they want you to believe in magic. Okay. They do. They want you to believe that good things are happening, that things are working out for a reason. And, uh, you know, you, you got something good coming in after this trial period, whatever this is, whatever this trying time is for you. This is a journey and we all go through rough times. So we have to just take the journey step by step and try and enjoy it as much as we can. You know, we gotta try and smell the roses every chance we get. There's always good in our lives, always. So we gotta try and see that when we're going through a rough time. You got the bow, so that means a present is coming in for you. So a gift, something that you're gonna love and enjoy something special is coming in again you got a leaf turning a new leaf and uh you got my wagon i'm not even gonna say it i'm not even gonna say it you got the wagon charm so the wagon charm and the bicycle charms for me is all about movement um so it's about movement forward forward movement momentum um, energy flowing. So you got the eight of wands up there, which is fast moving energy. So like I said, I feel something's coming to an end quickly and you're moving forward. You're getting through it. Like, you know what I mean? You're, you're just, you, you, are keep, you're, you keep going, you keep enduring. It's, it's, you know, the energy is moving forward. I hope that makes sense to you. Anyway, that is all I have for you, Leo. I hope it was helpful apologize about the ring light <laughs> and uh if it was you know give the video a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed subscribe to the channel because it really does help me and uh i'm so grateful for all of you and until next time love and light